So with that being said, I'm going to hand this off to Daniel, who's going to be talking about Aviva reports. All right, and I hope you guys can hear me and see me. And so I'm going to start by talking about Aviva reports, and I've got some slides on Edge and Historian a little bit later, but later. But for now. Um, for those of you who don't know, Aviva purchased uh, what used to be Dream Report from Ocean Data Systems, uh, I think approximately two years ago. So uh, for those of you who are not aware, we now own uh, Dream Report and we've changed the name to Aviva Reports. If you've never used the user interface, this is what it actually looks like. So you can see in the center, you've got the report that you're building, although currently it's covered by a report settings page, but you'll actually be able to see the report that you're generating as you're creating it. On the right hand side of the screen, you've got various tools that you can utilize and I'll talk more about those uh, in the future. You've got uh, different graphs you can implement, different settings and formats that you can uh, implement in your report. And on, the, and on the left hand side, you've got example reports and all of those example reports come uh, with a standard installation of Aviva reports. Uh, I think one other thing I wanted to mention uh, on this slide, for those of you who don't know this, particularly if you're a Aviva Pi user, and for those of you who aren't aware, we, uh, Aviva also purchased uh, Pi from uh, OSI soft. Um, we also now have a driver to connect Aviva reports to Pi, and I believe that uh, came out in one of the 2018 releases uh, of Dream Report. So if you're not aware, you can connect your uh, your Pi application to Aviva reports, uh, which you may find useful. 